Milka, you look cute. Where are you going out tonight? Huh? Where are you going? Oh, um, James is taking me out to dinner tonight. I'm so excited. James? Who's that? James? He's this guy that I've been dating for like the past like couple of weeks. Okay, I didn't know you found someone to date you. Um, what do you mean by that? I'm convinced that these people have absolutely no idea what POV actually means, bro. This this is actually ridiculous. The amount of times that I've watched people go POV and somehow I'm the camera. If this is what it is supposed to be, then I'm your friend. Do, do you not understand what a POV is? Point of view. I am you. So why am I looking at you and you're not even actually looking at the person that you're talking to? You're looking like down at yourself where the camera is recording. I, I don't know why these people are like, it's so dumb. I see this shit so often. Stop, okay? I am you. POV. Have you ever watched? There, There's an entire category in pornography called POV. Am, am, am I the cameraman? No, I'm not the cameraman. You know what it is? It's like the guy looking down. It's the guy looking down at, like, him having fellatio performed on him or whatever the fuck. Can you imagine it going, like, POV pornography? And you're just like, you're the cameraman? But what the fuck are you talking about? It's not POV. I'm not supposed to be the cameraman. I'm supposed to be the guy. What are you talking about? So, no. Okay? I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I'm, I'm done with it. I don't know why so many people on TikTok are so incredibly stupid. That's not what POV means. All right? Anyway. That's my little mini rant on these people having an inability to understand what POV means. But... It's it, it, the, the POV. You're talking to a girl who believes that you can't get a date because you're big. You know, I got to keep it a bug, bro. She's very unfortunate in the face. I got to. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry to say it, dude. Okay. I don't know why she chooses to do her makeup in this particular type of way. I don't know if she's going to wear a wig after this. I don't know why she got the moo moo on. <laughs> Maybe she's going to look way better at the end of this, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Not everybody can have the best genetics lottery when it comes to you know, being very attractive, unless we're talking about you, of course, I mean, you're gorgeous, absolutely, it's ridiculously gorgeous, matter of fact, I want you to do something for me, I want you, the person watching this video right now, to call up your parents, right, whatever number that is, and go, mom, dad, I have to thank you, you guys gave me some of the best genetics on the entire planet, I'm actually gorgeous, and you know what, I think it would be a disservice, to not tell you how amazing you did on running up that lottery ticket and making me as beautiful as I, as I am. Thank you for letting me exist as beautifully as I am. Thank you so much, mom and dad, whatever, and then hang up. That's all I got to say. But I don't think that it's unlikely for fat girls or fat people in general to get dates. It's just like, to what degree is this happening compared to what it would have been if you weren't fat? And everybody, anybody will tell this, right? When you're actually in a relationship, it will take it, anybody that's actually been in a relationship for a long period of time will tell you it's not it's not good. Like it's not it's not like a whole bunch of buttercups and rainbows. That shit is a lot of work and it's really tough to maintain a relationship. So it hurts me so deeply when these people go, I finally got a boyfriend because it's like, what does that even in what does that even mean, right? Is this guy actually trying to better you? Is this person actually trying to push you forward? Is this person actually encouraging you to lose weight? Because otherwise, if you're just with somebody and they don't care about you and they're just okay with you being fat or overweight for a prolonged period of time is that really somebody you want to be with dude is that somebody that's actually helping you grow i mean they're helping you grow just not in the areas that i feel like are probably the more optimal places to grow not weight wise but these people have like this weird idea in the back of their head of like if they get a boyfriend there they'll be complete or something like that when in reality most of the time you are your own person and that other person is their own person and they're supposed to be the icing on the cake but they really do put a lot of value on the person that they they're they, they, they get into a relationship with when most of the time like when you're fat like this dude it's going to be very difficult to find somebody to be with because most people are not attracted to people that are overweight i'm just saying like men don't really like big girls i thought you'd have to lose weight or something before you can get a date because most people don't like big people it's just no features involved when it comes to the face like your face is fundamentally just blown up and a lot of people don't realize this but when you gain weight you don't just gain weight in the areas that a lot of people don't want to gain weight in which is like the gut the thighs the you know the back of this whatever this thing is the back of the tricep and it looks really weird because you have like that you have a bony part which is your elbow and weight can't accumulate there because you're bending it so what tends to happen is like you have this overhang this giant overhang of i don't even know what you want to call it and I always get discouraged when I see people with it because if you have that overhang and it's like a massive overhang, you got to be really fat. It's always like super, super uh, discouraging when I see that and the hands. Like when I see a lot of weight on the hands or the fingers, dude, you got those big sausage fingers, man. 
it's really disgusting in my opinion i don't really like looking at it anytime i see somebody with that overhang or the big fists the big massive midi meaty mitts i always think like you are that is very unhealthy it's like it, you just gained weight in areas that you probably shouldn't be gaining weight in so there's that most people are not attracted to other people that are overweight because those features that you would commonly identify with health or even attractiveness are no longer there so like you're gaining weight in all these areas but you're also gaining weight in the face you no longer have a jawline you no longer have a forehead you no longer have a chin or maybe you do have a chin but you have multiple of them which is not a flex by the way like having more chins is not a flex it's good to have two eyebrows it's not good to have one eyebrow in that case it's good to have one i'm sorry two but in this case it's not good to have two or three chins by the way, if you hear anything in the background, that is thunder. Um, it's, it's, it's a giant storm right now. So it's thundering, it's lightninging. So if you hear me scream, that's why. But most people are not attracted to people that are overweight. It's also like really, really uncomfortable to be around somebody that's literally suffering. I don't want to be around somebody that like, it's always like this. Why would I date you knowing that you can't even take care of yourself? So like, what do I have to do? Do I have to like pick up the slack and take care of you? And it might be one thing to date somebody with the idea of improving their health through the aspects of whatever you know about. So that could be like diet, exercise, things like that. But a lot of these people, for instance, are fundamentally against the idea of losing weight because it's always like, well, if you can't accept me here, then you're not you're not going to accept me here where I look better or whatever the fuck, which is really crazy to say because you're like actually admitting that you're terrible and disgusting and your physique is suck dick. But whatever. Men don't like big girls. Huh? So you assume because of my size, I can't get a date? Yes. And other things, of course. The stench. Ooh, ooga booga. That. <clears throat> That noise right there, that foghorn, yes, most people are not attracted to people that are overweight. So if you do get a weight, like look, as a woman, you don't get as much leeway. Maybe you might be able to date a few guys that are fetishizing big women. Maybe you might be able to date a few guys that have very, very low standards. And on the off chance, you might be able to find somebody that is a genuinely good person that does want to date you because they don't care about the weight that you're presenting as. And even in all those cases and scenarios, there's going to be some defects there. So like, obviously, you don't want to date a guy that fetishizes your body because that's gross. Uh, you know, I want you to like me for who I am, not just the size of my gut or how deep my belly button is and how deep you can insert your penile issue inside my belly button, right? And then also the other guys that have very low standards, again, why would you want to date a guy that has no options? That's disgusting. I want to be somebody's number one option. I want to be the person that they pick from all the other people because I'm so amazing. And then the last option, which is like a genuinely good guy that doesn't care that you're fat, that's also not good because why doesn't he care that you're fat? That's literally a health effect. That's literally something that's going to negatively affect the relationship and you and him potentially right now as right, like at the moment you start dating. So there's literally no good reason. Like there's, uh, there's all those options that is laid in front of you the best one being the guy that doesn't like he's okay with you being fat is still not even a good option so even if you were and by the way those are all very niche options especially that last one that last one you're literally like playing the lottery to find somebody that's into that and doesn't care about the weight or whatever but even then don't you want somebody to be physically attracted to you I don't know. Like, I want somebody to look at me and think that I'm a very attractive individual. And even though I may not be conventionally attractive to the rest of the world, it's okay for that person that you're dating to find you attractive, if that makes any sense. So when I hear people say this, like, you think I'm, you think I can't get a date because I'm fat? Yeah. 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 And then also, I know a lot of people are going to say this. Oh, I have a great personality while I'm fat. I don't care. I don't know how many times I hear somebody say I have a great personality and that should forgive the fact that I'm very overweight or obese. You know, you know how many people that are great personalities and then also not fat? A lot. And you know what? You're not special for having a great personality. A lot of people have great personalities. You watching this video, you have a great personality. You present well. You have a great sense of humor. You enjoy long walks on the, wheat, the, the beach and whatever. And you're into weird stuff in the bedroom. Let's all be honest here for a second, okay? It's okay. But you can't, you can't, everybody thinks that they're great people. It's an oddity for somebody to walk around and think that they're a shit person. So if you're going to sit there and tell me that you're a great person and that should forgive the fact that you're 100 or 200 pounds overweight and your BMI is 80, nah, uh, nah, I don't care how good your personality is, that shit's unexcusable. It's not. And also it's a reflection of how you treat yourself. If you're fat and you're obese, you don't give a fuck about yourself. And I'm not ashamed to admit that, dude. I'm going to die on this hill. If you are obese, there's a fundamental misunderstanding on what you think is acceptable as existing as a human being. If you're fat, that's literally the press. That's like the entire, like that's a visual representation of unhealthy. And if you're okay with walking around like that, I'm not okay with walking around like that. That is gross. You are bleg. Not interested. Not interested. And a lot of people are not interested in that. 
Well, you- and by the way, don't feel uh, don't feel bad if you're not interested in that. All those reasons that I just listed are all valid, and you're okay for the reasons that you have chosen as well. Yeah, because you know you're big, and men yeah. don't like big girls. Anyways, where are you taking me, McDonald's? I don't know. <laughs> taking you to mcdonald's is crazy by the way mcdonald's is extraordinarily expensive now i remember back in the day if you were dating a girl and she talked to her girlfriends and go mm, he took me to mcdonald's they'd go oh my god girl ditch him he is absolutely not it girl mm, period you are a queen he should be taking you somewhere special mm, like the cheesecake factory but nowadays if you take a girl to mcdonald's and you're sitting there spending 30 40 bucks at mcdonald's dude that's a fucking, that's a giant sum of money that I just had to drop at a fast food establishment. I swear to God, the girls nowadays got to be like, mm, he took you to McDonald's? Oh my God. How many McChickens did he buy? Three? Girl, he's a keeper. Girl, lock him down, period. He is the man of your dreams. Princess treatment, hashtag slay queen edges, you already know. Hashtag MK purse, whatever, I don't know. But the point I'm making is, <laughs> McDonald's nowadays ain't cheap. It's never, you know what, it's never been cheap, but nowadays... For the amount of money that you're spending at McDonald's, don't go to McDonald's, dude. What are you fucking doing? Like, you're sitting there spending... Look, how much are you spending at McDonald's on average? $13, maybe. If you're getting... Look, if you're getting a Big Mac, you're getting maybe the fries on the side, and you're getting a drink, you're looking at $13. I don't know how much it is where you live. It might be cheaper, but where I live, it's like $13. bucks. Do you really spend 13 bucks on that overprocessed, disgusting, sloppy-ass food that the Puerto Rican dude behind the counter made? Nah. Fuck that shit. Go to the grocery store and get your own shit. It don't need to be anything more than that. You're spending more money at the grocery store, but you're getting more product and you're going to be able to make more food. There's plain and simple, okay? Do that shit. Don't be shopping at McDonald's. And by the way, it's way more attractive for women or people in general to see that you know how to do the cooking in the kitchen, dude. You got culinary skills. You can lubricate a pan. And you know what? You're going to lubricate me too. Oh, that's delicious. I'm wetter than an African child during typhoon season, dude. You got me hung like an African water snake. That's what I'm saying here, okay? Like, it's way better to know how to cook, and I get it, going out to eat is always fun, but I promise you, if you're actually dating somebody that's the real deal, grounded human being, they're gonna appreciate a home-cooked meal, especially if you put your heart and soul in cooking something delectable and desirable for that individual. You're looking good, tasty, and delicious. So, yeah, um, by the way, this makeup palette is not for her. I don't know if she understands that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it doesn't look good. Well, yeah, because, you know, you're big and men don't like big girls. Anyways, where are you taking me, McDonald's? Okay. Where are you taking me, McDonald's? Oh, he's taking me to that new fancy Japanese restaurant, that Japanese steakhouse. And he so shouldn't be taking you to any restaurant. That's crazy as fuck that he's taking you to a restaurant. He should be taking you to a fucking park or something, dude. Or maybe taking you to Planet Fitness, get you a fucking gym membership, dude. I don't fucking know, bro. Look. It's fine to date bigger people. There is no problem with it at all. I don't even understand this idea of like, oh, he's taking me to a fine dining restaurant. Therefore, you know I'm getting princess treatment at McDonald's. Listen, I've taken women out to dates before. And I've dated probably in my lifetime, seriously, two, three women. Maybe, right? I've taken them all to McDonald's and I got to keep you a buck with you. It's I right. like most most women most people are really down to earth especially if you know how to pick them. They've all they, like it's food. What are you going to do? It's, they're appreciative regardless of what how you get it to them. And you might have the odd uh, oh, you taking me McDonald's? It is what it is, right? Like, it's not a, something that we're doing all the time. It's just like we're, we're out to eat. Uh, it, it, it's a fast, easy. Well, I have to concede, though, uh, I haven't been to McDonald's in like a year. Um, but, like, I haven't ate at McDonald's in like a year. So there's that. But, uh, you know, if you're a down-to-earth person, dude, there's not there's nothing wrong with, oh, he took me to McDonald's. It's like one of those people that go, oh, my God, your boyfriend has like a, 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 a fucking an Android, dude. He has to be poor. And then I always think like, Dude, like, if this dude has a flagship, which is, like, a Samsung, uh, why the fuck do you think he's poor? I'm pretty sure, like, those phones are, like, equal in cost. And then also, just because you get the green bubble doesn't mean that the person is poor. It just means maybe they like the Android more. I don't fucking know. Like, I see that a lot. A lot of people will hate on your relationship because somebody did something somewhere or... Uh, maybe he mistreated you or somebody mistreated you there and it's like they're not really seeing the full context of the situation and I think that I mean, one thing I really hate too is like I was watching this love is blind show and it was so my bad married at first sight and these guys were asking this 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 their these got this one guy was asking the friends the friends of the woman that he just married how she is and I was just thinking like dude you're fucking dumb like first of all by the way don't don't hate on me for watching married at first sight it's not something I want to do okay I have to do it but anyway I was watching the show and 
it was so atrocious that this guy was like, so like, tell me about this girl. Like, why does she act like this? Why? And they were like, but she don't act like that. Like, you know, she's not like that. She doesn't, you know, she's, she's a really, um, she might be a little emotional, but she's this. And I'm just gonna, like, listen, if you're friends with somebody, you're not going to see them in the same light that the person that's dating them is going to see them in. Right. So sometimes like asking the person's friends how they act or like what, the, what, what did their life entail? It might actually be uh, bullshit. It might actually not even like it might not give you any type of value at all because these people are not with that person in the same way that you're with that person. Right. Like I have tons of guy friends and I promise you they have not seen any aspect of me that I would share with a potential candidate or a relationship. It's just not that same. It's just, you're not doing that shit because it's more detailed. You're getting a different aspect of them, right? So I don't know what the fuck we're talking about, but anyway. So excited. Okay, well just make sure you bring your share for the 50-50. Why would I pay 50-50 if I'm going on a date with a guy that I'm dating? What? Okay. It's okay for the person. Look, I understand that we all want traditional men and we all want traditional men that pay for dates and we all want traditional men that take off their jacket and put it on the water and the girl walk across it. I got to keep it a buck with you. We in 2024 and I understand that, you know, a lot of women might want traditional men, but you have to understand the environment that we're in right now. It's very, very egalitarian you know women make up a lot of the women make up like 50 percent of the workforce dude and sometimes women make more money i've met a lot of women that make more money than me it's pretty common so sometimes i understand that the idea of taking a woman out and paying for the date is cool like don't get me wrong i've done that copious amounts of times but um t dude if we're fucking dating fuck you you're paying for the fucking you're paying for the meal every once in a while right i don't understand so many people that think it's a bad thing that the girlfriend pays for the date or like if you're dating, right? Let's be honest. If a guy asks you out, it's fine. He's he's paying for the date because he's asking you out and that's the initiation, whatever the fuck. I know there are a lot of women out there that don't like uh, paying 50-50, which is fine, right? But if you're dating, dude, what's wrong with that? I've dated women before and they go, I wanna pay for the date. Or um, you pay for the date all the time. How about you pay for this next time? I'll pay for it this time willingly. Is there something wrong with that? No, but I've heard many people sit there and talk shit like, oh, wow, he didn't pay for the date, even though you asked to pay for the date. Wow. Uh, that tells me everything I need to know about it. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you, like, have you never been into a relationship before in your fucking life? Like how much money do you think somebody has to spend for that person to be like adequately treated? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like it's all, if you're actually dating, there should be nothing wrong with somebody splitting the bill or paying for the entire bill because that person might be paying for the entire bill this other time or maybe even splitting actual bills like rent or car payments or other things like gas utilities and things such and so forth. Like it's a fucking relationship. I, I'm convinced that so many people have no idea how actual relationships work and I see videos like this a lot and I think you've never dated like honestly speaking like you might have like dated like you might have dated around you might have talked to a few people and maybe like been in a relationship for four months but you've never actually lived with somebody you've never been like in a detailed relationship where you have to delegate chores and and bills and and who does what in the relationship and have time frames where you guys do stuff together because you're both working like it's it's obvious that you guys have never done that because it takes a lot of deliberate work it's not something as simple as like oh yeah uh, we're going to be together and it's going to be great and amazing. He's going to pay for everything. No, dude, that's not how that fucking works. It's way more complicated than that. Well, because you're big, men don't really like to pay for big people. What? And I mean, I'm half your size and I still have to pay 50 50. So I'm just saying, just be prepared because you're big that a man would not pay for the full bill because you're big. Just because that's your experience. And like you said, you're half my size. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean that that's my experience. Just Why are you yelling, dude? Your friend's literally in the room, right? What are you guys like two feet away? Am I the camera for her? Why are you screaming at her? She's literally talking to you, bro. Can we just take that a moment to do that? Why the fuck are you screaming so goddamn loud? Just because I'm bigger, that doesn't mean that I get mistreated by men. Uh, by the way, I'm going to keep it a bug. Just because a guy wants to 50-50 you doesn't mean he's mistreating you. That's fucking crazy, bro. I got to keep it a bug. Like, we live in a very, very... It's, it's a lot more liberal than it's ever been. You know, the reason why I met a lot of men pay for the bill before was because women didn't make income, so therefore they couldn't pay for the bill, and it was a nice kind gesture for a man initiating things, right? So, I, you know, we live in an era where women work, and maybe I'll get a little bit of flack for this, but I don't mind what a woman pays for a bill. I don't care. Um, that's fine for me, actually. I love that shit. I love when women gives me gift. When women give me gifts, um, you know, princess treatment, me, bro. I need, to, I need some fucking princess treatment. So no, you're not being mistreated. If a guy doesn't, if a guy splits the bill, especially if you're dating. That's my experience. Just um, because I'm bigger, that doesn't mean that I get mistreated by men. Okay, well, I mean, I don't I allow that. that. 
Did what do you, you mean you don't allow that? How can you stop it? Like, what are you like, talking about, dude? What? You tell him you pay his like light bill or his phone bill or something so he could date you. What? I'm just saying, like, because I'm you're not big, paying you must any be paying of his bill. bills for him to date me. He's dating me because he likes all me. All right, girl. All right. Weirdo. Just, I wonder, like, how accurate that conversation actually was. Like, these people have a. I mean, that, that conversation never happened, right? It was way too uh, elaborate. It just didn't make any sense. Uh, these people have to make up these scenarios and, like, ways of thinking in their head to, like, try to... I don't know. I used to do that when I was a kid. Like, oh, yeah, I'm a commando and I'm super... I'm cool and I'm, I can kill a lot of people because I'm a soldier, right? But I was like 10. So I could do that and nobody would look at me weird because it's okay to do cringy stuff when you're that old. But when you're, like, 32 and you're doing stuff like that, I don't know. It's kind of different, you know? It's kind of, like, a little bit... It's cringe. It's cringe. So another one bites the dust... I, um, so I joined a app called Woo Plus, which is especially for girls that are like plus size. Yeah, it's a fat girl dating site. That's, that's what it is. I mean, plus size dating site, but I don't know to what degree it really means plus size. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, if you can go on Woo Plus and they'll just allow you to be on Woo Plus as a skinny individual. I don't know if they'll stop you from doing that. Like, how can you judge whether or not somebody is fat or not? Like, do you have to give them your BMI? Do I have to go to my doctor and get like a certificate to authenticate the BMI that I currently am at and then give that to Woo Plus to like, hey, man, I am fat. So just let you know, you know, let me into this dating app. I don't know exactly how it works because I know a lot of people that have been on Woo Plus have dated men that were skinnier. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. Like maybe it's like you could be skinny here, but you want to date somebody fat or maybe it has to be both. I don't know. Maybe somebody can like let me know down below because I'm actually like I have no idea how that fucking shit works. By the way, I do not like that little smiley tattoo she has right there. Because I am plus size. In case you had noticed. It's not, you're not plus size, you're big back. That's, you know, let's be honest here for a second. There's a difference. I'm sick of it. I'm really sick of it. Somebody saying they're plus size. Like, how much plus size are you, dude? You got to be like plus, 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 plus sized. Um, I just thought. I know you're plus size, bro. Look at them hands, dude. God damn. Maybe I'd be a bit more. You guys know, um, Little Mermaid, dude? You guys know that, the, the Ursula? Damn. You know, hey. I appreciate it over there. Been chatting to a few guys. Chatting to this one guy in specific. Dude, look, I, I'm sorry. I literally was just talking about this. But, like, you see the weight just accumulating on the fingers? It's insane, okay? I got to keep it a buck. And then having, like, acrylics or long nails as well, it makes it worse. Because it, like, around the area of the finger, because the nails are supposed to be thin and, and, and compact, right? They're supposed to be, like, things that are placed on there. Nails are not supposed to be fat. So when I see very, very, like, petite nails next to big, giant, like, fat fingers, it's always scary to me because it doesn't look like it should be there. In specific, in particular, bad English, sorry. Um, going really well. Chatted a lot. Moved it to WhatsApp. And then I... That's a UK thing, right? Here in America, nobody uses WhatsApp. Like, I've met a few Haitian dudes before that have told me about WhatsApp, and I was like, what is that? And the Haitian guys are, hey, hey, you know about WhatsApp, man. You know what it is. I talk to my wife on that because she is not here in America. But I save her up money so she can come to America. It's a land of opportunity. I, I work every day to bring my wife to America. Right? That's, I heard what's up from those guys. But here in America, nobody uses that shit. Like, we just use regular texting apps. I realized today that he'd, like, deleted his photos that he'd sent to me. So he WhatsApp me like photos, and then I realized about five minutes ago that he'd actually deleted them. You got like weight above your eye. Like, do you guys see this like area where it's, it kind of looks puffy? I just wonder when these people think it's enough. Like, I know that when you start gaining weight, your face starts to inflate a little bit. Maybe it's, I know, obviously it's a gradual process. Like, you see yourself. Maybe you're 21, but by the time you're 28, you are, you look completely different compared to what you look like when you were 21. And it's happened slow and steady. Like from the time of 21 to 23, maybe you only gain 20, 30 pounds. And then maybe when you turn 25, 26, another 20 pounds, 30 pounds maybe. And then by the time you're almost 30, maybe it's an additional 30 pounds. Like by that point, you gained an extra 100 pounds and you look completely different compared to what you once did. And a lot of people might go, oh, I just got older. Nah, dude, you should look relatively the same from 20 to 30. I mean, maybe a few differences here and there, but if you're literally like a completely different person in the face in terms of like the structure uh, and the mass, dude, it, you lose some weight, okay? I, I hate to see people going through their 20s which should be the most attractive period for most people, physically speaking, and they're just wasting it because they want to eat. And I get it. Food tastes good, 
but is it really worth it? Like all those years that you could be potentially looking the goodest that you could possibly look for food? I don't think so. So I was like, why have you deleted, like why? Why have you deleted those photos? Was it like dick pics? Like if it was just face pictures, dude, I don't know why you would delete them. But if it was like dick pics, like, yeah, I can see that. He said, oh, do you want me to resend them? And I was like, no. Like, it's not that I, I want to keep them. I'm just like, why did you delete them? Because that's a bit odd. It makes me think maybe something weird's going on. Why? Is it not maybe he's not a real person? Maybe she thinks, like, he's a catfish or something? I don't know, dude. Let's see. And then he just blocked me. <laughs> what the fuck? He probably wasn't real. That, that just kind of gives me, like, he was a catfish or he wasn't a real person because, uh... I don't know, like, why you would delete those pictures, dude. I, eh. Fuck. It is the pits. We're in the trenches, girls. Fucking trenches. That's a really lax st story, bro. So you were talking to a guy, you moved it over to a texting app, and then basically he blocked you. Yeah, that seems light. That seems really fucking light, dude. That seems like you didn't even meet up with the guy, there was no commitment involved, there was nothing, and he blocked you. It seems like that's fine. Like, have you... You just haven't dated, it seems like. Because, like, a lot of people nowadays are really grimy when they date. That's light. Okay, everyone has been asking for my plus-size dating tips. So, let's get into True. it. True. Let's hear them. Before I give you the tips, let me just say this. This is going to be centered around the fact that, number one, plus-size women are often the target of scams, especially by men who want to use plus size women for our money, our gifts, all of our special saws. Really? Is that true? I I have me personally, I know for a fact when I've dated women, I've given more financially than they have given me, which is not a flex by the way. It's just kind of like what I've been, you know, like I've given gifts. Uh, you know, I've given dates i've given this and this and this and you know i'm not gonna say i haven't gotten things in return like things have happened i've gotten stuff too which is fine i'm not like comparing or contrasting but i've never i never dated a fat girl i suppose but uh i've never heard of fat girls being scammed from guys like how does that work exactly because they're desperate because they're desperate they're like maybe like taking more from them like hey uh oh man my phone bills do and i won't be able to talk to you if you don't help me like i won't be able to pay my bill oh no what am i gonna do but you could pay it you know like hey is it like that or is it more so like uh my car note is due like how, do you, how does this work exactly dude i would love to know but aren't actually invested in us and number two it's going to be targeted at women who want an amazing love story not just a mediocre i'm settling i have i want to know what they mean by love story i think it's a really bad way of looking at a relationship dude i gotta keep it a buck with you dude because it's the idolization of a relationship if you look everybody wants to be treated princessy everybody wants to be treated very goodly in things such and so forth but to sit there and say like you want a love story or like a you know like what what, what the fuck did she say dude but yeah love story if you want to sit here that just seems like very Disney-esque. I don't know if, they, again, I just don't realize, I just, I don't think these people actually realize how absolutely difficult it is to maintain a relationship, dude. It's not going to be like the love story that you think it is. There's going to be arguments. There's going to be conversations that you don't want to have. There are going to be things that you don't want to do that you're going to have to do. And that's okay because that's what a relationship is, right? There are going to be things that are not good that you do that the other person is not going to like and vice versa. And you're going to have to talk about that stuff. It's not going to be loving, caring, amazing relationship 24-7. It takes a lot of work. So when I hear somebody say like, oh, yeah, I want the love story. Bro, uh, I got to keep it a bug, bro. You're setting people up for failure. It's not going to be a love story. I guarantee you. It's going to be, you know, fucking bloodbath a lot of the time. It's, it's okay, though, because the end goal of dating somebody is you two are better as an outcome of that because you're working on the things simultaneously and maybe those traits that are not good are actually not good and you're getting better at communicating those things so mm, i just don't like the idea of a love story you know that just doesn't make sense to me women who want an amazing love story not just a mediocre i'm settling i have a man because the reality is and i believe this to my core any woman can walk outside and go find a man right not the man you want, but a man, okay? So it's not hard to be with someone. I'm not talking to that. If you just want to be with someone, 
skip this video and just go outside. She's right about that, dude. Since like the dawn of existence, women have never not had options. And I feel like a lot of guys nowadays like have this bullshit excuse of like, oh man, dude, women, women be cheating, dog, man. All women want to do is eat hot Cheeto, sleep and cheat. Like I hear that a lot. And I always think like, dude, just because like social media exists doesn't mean like this girl has never had the, like never not had the option of like going outside and finding a penis like that. It might be a little bit more difficult, but nine times out of 10 times, dude, you're going to be able to find dick uh, if you're a girl. So yes, this is a very obvious statement to be said. And I don't think there's a lot of value in it, to be honest. Like it's great that you can go out and find a penis, but um, that's not really an indication of a good choice. Dick, literally any, 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 my email, you got somebody, okay? Okay, rule well, number one. If he compliments you by referencing your weight, this is an immediate ick and it's a red flag. Okay, there's a difference between saying you're beautiful versus saying, damn, you really big and I like that. Let me put my face in between your fat folds. I love the sweat and the material that you got wearing. Oh my God, my face is so greased up. Like I get it, I do. But also I do hear the other, I hear the other one, which is like, I am fat, and if he doesn't compliment my fat, then then he shouldn't be with me. So it's got to be one, one or the other. I don't know how many times I've heard this, like, if he, if he says something about you, physically speaking, don't date him. And then I've heard, if he doesn't say anything about it, then don't date him. So it's like, I don't know at this point. Like, what do I do? What do I not do? I guess just not, not date fat people, because, like, it's just so complicated at this point. You know, I love your thick thighs. I can't wait till you wrap them around me, like... That's Definitely not something that you say on the first date. That's crazy as fuck. Might be something you say when you've been dating for six months, but... That's gross. True. Um, He might have a fetish. And by the way, when she says red flag, I think it's like really important to acknowledge this. Just because something is a red flag, that doesn't mean you immediately ditch that person, dude. A red flag could be something as simple as five-year age gap or somebody having a kid or somebody doing something that you don't necessarily like. Like, I literally had somebody tell me before, because I like Star Wars, that it was a red flag. And I was just thinking, like, what the fuck are you talking about? You literally believe in astrology. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, if anything, your shit is way worse than mine. But the point I'm making is, just because something is a red flag, it's just something to be aware of. It's not something to, like, a, a completely destroy a relationship over. Just be acknowledged of it you might be trying to try out a plus size woman that's a crazy ass thing to say try out is insane which brings me to rule number two if he's never been with a bigger person you should be cautious now i'm not saying that's an immediately okay immediate good no but I i've heard a lot of people say like if he hasn't been with a plus size woman before it's an immediate no because he's just trying to use you as like a stepping stone or like he's trying to experiment with you and i always thought like it's it's kind of like trying to get a job at a pizza shop and they go must have one year of making pizza experiences at a established reputable establishment and you go like what the fuck are you talking about dude like nobody what are you saying dude how hard is it to make a fucking pizza obviously i've never worked at a pizza place ever in my entire life i'm gonna lie i'm gonna list my friend's phone number and he's gonna say his name is like papa gino or whatever his name is but he's obviously not he's like a middle eastern man with a big beard but it doesn't fucking matter like the point i'm making is like just because somebody has never been with somebody before of that particular demographic doesn't mean that's like a bad thing like you know how many times i've dated black women because like i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i've only ever dated black women not because i'm weird and i'm a bona fide snow bunny well i guess kind of like a snow bunny but i only date black women because that's all i get i'm not playing with you either like i put out my my rod to try to get a girlfriend and i roll them in and it's a black lady and i'm like oh okay well i don't really care it's either, like to me it doesn't matter but um i've dated black women before and they've hit me with a so do you have any black friends? And I always go, yeah, like 80%, 90% of my friends are black and they're all from like Haiti and shit. And you go like, what? Oh my God. Or have you ever dated a black girl before? Do you know what a bonnet is? Like, do you know what lotion is? Like, do you know how to like take care of hair? And I always go like, yeah, I know what all that stuff is. Yeah, of course. And they go like, what? Oh my, you've dated black women before? Yeah. Uh, it's not like, I don't know why it's such a crazy ass thing. Like, I get it. Like, I'm white, but it's something it's just like, uh, you know, I never really put a lot of value in it. I don't really care if somebody's white or black. Like, to me, it's like people are people. And it's cool that you're black and it's cool that you're melanated. And I think that it's great that you take care of your hair and you know about lotions and skincare and stuff like that. That's awesome. Um, but simultaneously, I don't really care. Like, you could be Korean or. I don't know, East Guatemalan or something like that. To me, it doesn't matter. And um, it's kind of cool sometimes to date somebody that is a little bit darker of complexion because a lot of people ask you, what are, you, you know, I've been out with women before 
and uh, th to me they're like ethnically ambiguous like a lot of blacker ladies or a lot of like melanated women are ethnically ambiguous like they, they could be from like 19 different countries all simultaneously and you'll never know and it's interesting to find out where people are from i am saying that you need to really dig deep into that and figure out why he's only dated straight size women in the past well that's most people by the way like if you're dating most people are attracted to straight size people because straight size people are in more high demand, if that makes any sense. It's like if you're looking for a Star Wars figure, I bought a whole bunch of Star Wars figures. It's like somebody saying like, oh, I'm going to buy Darth Vader. And then you go, you wonder, oh, why did you buy Darth Vader? But you didn't buy that random nameless, like that random nameless stormtrooper on the Death Star. Exactly. It, it, it fucking exactly. Um maybe he's been with one person his whole life he hasn't had the opportunity i don't know but i would dig a little bit deeper on that and do some more diligence because there are a lot of people who just want to try something out once I, I i i think it's important to dig a little deep sometimes um i know sometimes when you date somebody you have to ask the right questions to get the right answers and sometimes it feels like you're doing too much to get those answers like i remember one time I was dating this girl and she asked me, David, what's your body count? And I'm always like going to keep it a buck with you. My body count is four, right? But I don't know what it was at the time. But um, I asked her, I was like, oh, uh, you know, what was your body count? And she said, well, I've only had sex with three guys. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I thought about it. I was like, that's a very weird way of saying it. And I was like, well, is sex is like, well, like, how many dudes have you sucked off? And she was like, oh, um, maybe eight. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And then, you know, ask, like, how many girls have you eaten out? And they go, uh, you know, three. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I get it. I asked you body count. And that's a very particular thing. But sometimes you got to dig a little bit to get these answers because sometimes people don't want to give you the whole truth, even though you might be asking a very general statement. You would think that that would be something that somebody would answer with. But it's not. You have to ask a little bit more. And that's okay to do. Um, it might be offensive for a lot of people sometimes to ask, like, how many people have you sucked off, which is, in my opinion, um... I don't really care. I don't put a lot of value into it. I would much rather be with a woman that knows how to fellatio properly and the same thing probably for her. Like she probably wants to be with the guy that knows how to um, enjoy the female anatomy with his tongue. And But it's a little different because like most dudes have the same functions, which is just up and down with the mouth movement. Um, most girls don't have that same function. Like I've eaten out, I don't know. I don't know how many women I've eaten out. Probably three um, in my life. Yeah, I didn't eat out that fat girl. And it's always been different, like, every single time. Like, it's, it's, it's like, do I move it here? Do I go over there? Like, why is it weird there? Like, what is this stuff? I don't know. Um, it's like, an, the way I like to look at it is like a, like an old TV with the antennas. And you know how you have to, like, move the antennas to get the right signal? That's what it's like eating out women. Because it's like, you don't know what you're doing. And the only way you're going to actually find out is whether you ask her, tell me what I'm doing. Tell me how this works. What is going on with you? Like, what do you want me to do? And um, by doing that, you're going to be able to, like, properly get the signal down pack. And you're going to be able to get those, uh, you know, like, you're going to be able to watch TV. So that's what I always say. For, for girls, it's like I've never really ever had a bad blowjob in my entire life. And some have been better than others. But uh, it's like for the most part, I don't know, like, what can you do special? Like, I don't, I don't like, go upside down, like, do backflips, tie yourself to the ceiling fan and, like, spin around. I don't fucking know. Like, what can you do? There's really not much. Um, and by the way, like, if you're performing fellatio, I'm already done. Like, it's over. Like, I know you wanted to have sex right after this, but it's over. Like, <laughs> I don't know the fuck you thought was going to happen, dude, but it's done. And I'm not ashamed to admit that, dude. Like, I know a lot of guys out there will sit there and go, yeah, dog, I can last for 45 minutes, an hour, three hours, bro. Fuck it. I don't care, dog. I'll do it for that. I'll do it for that bitch. For me, I'm like, dude, uh, I'm not trying to do this for more than 30 minutes. And I got to keep it a buck. Like, if you do this particular activity, it may not even last more than five. And I'm not a... Dude, what do you want from me, first of all, dude? If anything, it's a compliment to your mouth, mo your mouth movements. Especially if you're dealing with men. So I would just be is if you're his first you don't want to be somebody's guinea pig rule number three now if you're on my page you have your ish together right you have your money up you have a career you have a house you have a car you have things you're not looking for someone to finance your life you got you. Eh, i think that's okay to say but a lot of times i find that even though somebody may have these op these things that you're telling me about like a career a job 
um, a car, you know, your education, all this other stuff, apartment, all this stuff. It's great. A lot of times that's, if anything, that means that your standards are higher and you need those things from that other person. So they need to have all that stuff as well. So not exactly true. Your own things going on. So if you're dating or on a date with a man and he references all of those things that you have and your money, it's a red flag. So if he's like, oh, you're a big boss, you know, you're a boss girl. Oh, you got money. Ooh, like- it is. It is a little it is a little cringy. I'll, I'll give her that. These are probably. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what this has to do with being plus size, but it is cringy. It is 100% cringy. It's always better to show instead of tell. Stop giving away your hands. Like, stop saying that shit, dude. Um, I'm big fans of boss queens uh, or, you know, boss bitches or whatever you want to call them. Women that can take care of themselves. Women that know how to argue. Women that can actually, you know, like, have conversations and things like that. To me, it's, like, infinitely – to me, it's infinitely impressive to for anybody. Like, people, to me, are so incredibly um, – what's the word I'm looking for satisfying to talk to, to discover things about people. And it's really satisfying for me to discover, especially with somebody I'm dating because I can get so much more out of them. You know, it's like so interesting to find out what makes you like, Oh, you like that. Like you do this. That's so cool. You did that one time. That's Oh wow. So like, you really like this stuff. That's really cool to me. Like I like that because I'm discovering new things. Right. And uh, I know a lot of people may not like that, but for me, it's super it's super important and you can only really do that like once you can't do that multiple times in a relationship like there are it's gonna get eventually dried out the dwell is gonna eventually dry out but regardless um yeah don't do that shit like don't hit a girl with wow you're a boss queen you have a tesla that's really great um if anything i'm gonna be talking about the stuff that i have you know like hey you want to come over and check out my star wars my my fucking star wars collection I have a whole bunch of them and they cost too much money, but you want to look at them so I can justify the expenses? No, you don't you don't care about like Count Dooku and the Clone War stuff? No, that makes you dry. I I'm gay. I'm gay now then. I don't care. I see you with the new Tesla. You should run, okay? Because that could be a sign that he's looking for you to spend money on him. Now, a lot of scammer men, they have this I'm not, like maybe this is like somebody let me know down below when it comes to um men scamming women i don't know how common that is because i've been in situations before and i've met i met a lot of dudes like okay here's the thing i don't talk to a lot of women in this particular way right but i, I talk to a lot of guys i've met a lot of guys that have been scammed by women and it may or may not have been their fault like i met a dude before that gave a woman oh, my rent is due. I don't have any rent money. I'm going to like get kicked out. I don't know what I'm going to do. And the guy, obviously, because he smelled her vagina and he thought that shit was moisturized, he gave her $800 right there off the spot. And she never talked to him ever again. Or I knew another guy that there was a woman that always used to hit him up for payments for her car. And she was saying like, oh, I'd come over, but I can't come over right now because I can't, you know, my car note is due and I want to drive it while it's this and this. And he would just pay it. And I know a lot of girls I would do that. And I'm not saying that, Obviously, it's wrong to take advantage of people. Don't do that. But I've seen it way more on the sides of women. Like, I know a lot of women that have told me that they've sold feet pictures that are not even their feet pictures. Or they've sold portions of their body, but they may not have been their body. Or they've hit up dudes, and they told them that they're outside of town, and they need $5, and they would just never hit them up ever again. Or they would be, hey, I need this new dress, and I'm going to come show it to you. And the guy would dry, you know, drop $200 for the dress, and that would be for her. And she would never give him anything. And look, I'm not saying men don't do it. I could be wrong on this, right? I, I I don't know. I'm ignorant. Somebody let me know down below. If you have experience in this or you know what I'm, or if you know anything about this. But I've met a lot of women, firsthand experiences, that have straight up admitted to me that they have scammed men. Multiple women. Like more than 30 in my opinion. More than 30 in my experience. So um, I don't know. Like let me know what you, down below what you think. Misconception that big women are going to finance their life, right? We're so desperate for a man will pay for everything just to have someone. So they come, <clears throat> they act like they're celebrating your accomplishments, but what, really what they're trying to do is test and feel out how much money you have and how willing you are to spend money on that. I see this a lot on women, dude. I met a lot of women, I've taken them out on dates and they like, oh, so you, you can just pay for this date? Oh, so you can just buy this stuff? Or you could just do, I've seen that a lot on women. But like I said, I've only ever dated women, so. Obviously, because I'm not gay, I'm not gay. I've never been gay, never have wanted to be gay, never wanted to be ever one gay. Women are uh, so great, so amazing. Um, vaginas, mm -mm -mm. good, so delicious, so amazing. The female anatomy is the best. Rule number four, and this is a really, really, really big one. You need to observe him 
around his friends. Why? So when you're one-on-one -on -one with someone, it's very easy for people to be on their best behavior. You're going to be on your yeah. best behavior. He's going to be on his best behavior. But you really need to observe him with friends and other people to see how he behaves. So let me give you an example. No, I see what she's saying, dude. Like, you're definitely going to be acting a certain way around your friends, especially if you've been friends with these people for a very long period of time. Like, if I'm with my friends, we're talking about gay jokes. I'm rapping about how, you know, I'm sucking them off or I'm giving them meat massages or we're talking about how whether or not you would allow a giraffe to lick your butthole for how much money, whether or not you would let Jeff Bezos suck you off for six months of Amazon Prime or... You know, there's a whole bunch of things that you're definitely talking about with your friends that you probably wouldn't talk to uh, with your woman friend because they would find it very uh, inappropriate, probably. Even your girlfriend, you know, I don't know. I've I tried to have conversations before with my girlfriends before about that stuff, and it's just never been um, – it's never been as fun, honestly speaking. Like, a lot of women take that stuff too very, very seriously. But for dudes, it's like I can have, like, probably a four-hour conversation about whether or not – uh, you think Joe Biden is actually piping down Kamala Harris and whether or not he has that big shit. Like, you can easily do that. Um, maybe that's just for me. Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I just have a really, you know, dynamic friend group. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can, like, leave it down below. I don't know exactly what kind of indication that would give to you, though. At least talking from my perspective, maybe you just think that I'm, like, a weird person or something like that. But just because, like, somebody um, talks to their friends differently than how they would talk to you, that's not always an indication that that person's bad. It just means that they have a more – because you're not going to get everything from somebody. When you date a woman or you're dating a man, you're not going to be able to get uh, everything. And I know a lot of people do want that. I know a lot of people do want the communication. I know a lot of people do want the, the emotional connection, this, that, whatever the fuck. But that's just not practical. Like, I've dated people before, and some were a little bit more entertaining than others, but I can guarantee you – I've never had more entertaining conversations than with my friends because they're just open and they'll talk about anything. It's more, it's a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, accommodating to talk to a group of guys about stuff like that. Or maybe they have different interests than you. You know what I'm talking about? Like I can talk to Star Wars about my friends. I can talk about video games with my friends. I can't talk about that stuff with a with girl. I can't do that. Maybe there's some girls that do play video games, but it's very few and far between. Like it's okay. Right. And it's probably the same thing for women. Like, I know a lot of girls that like hair care. If you sat there and said, what do you think is better? Do you think this M Mulan shit or do you think this like Maina or whatever the fuck it's called? Uh, do you think this bracelet looks good? This bracelet looks good? I don't even know. I have no idea what any of this shit is. I don't know why you would even want this shit. It's like no interest to me. So it's OK when you date somebody and you don't get everything from that person. That's going to happen. They're never they're not going to be perfect. And by the way, they, if you think that is perfect, you have a very uh Misunder you have a misunderstanding of what somebody should be in a relationship. When he's with you, his eyes are on you. He's focused on your conversation all as well. When you are with him and his friends, when the waitress walks by, all of their heads are turning. Okay. Um, they're commenting on her breasts. They're commenting on her butt. They're making gross. Uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know anything about this shit. Like, I've never really had scenarios like this. Like, I've been around a lot of guys, and I've never... I have a big group of guy friends, and none of them do that. Like, I'm friends with dudes that are married... I'm friends with dudes that have been dating women for a very long period of time. Some guys have been single for their whole life. So, But most dudes that I've met are not like that. Like, most dudes are not like, damn, bitch got it. Like, I've never, I don't know, for me personally, I don't know. Disgusting comments. That's a major, major red flag. And people, while they can be on their best behavior at times, eventually the mask will slip off. So you need to observe people in different environments to see what they're really about. Man, I feel like this is so, this is such good information, especially when it comes to living with somebody. Because if you, oh man, dude, it's such a, it's such a different thing. When you, when you first start dating somebody, it's so easy to communicate. It's so easy to talk to them, especially if they're coming over, but they're not living with you, right? Maybe you're just doing a few things together. But when they live together, dude, things start changing quick. Then you start seeing like when, when, they, where they get mad at, why are they upset with you? Because you didn't pick up your sock or maybe you left the door open or maybe you, you shit with the door open. Maybe you forgot to flush. Maybe you didn't do the dishes on time. Like these, is this person going to flip out on you? Is there going to be a little bit more nuance? Like these things are so Man, I feel like a lot of people don't realize it is hard to live with another person. It is the easiest thing to live by yourself because you can just put up with your own shit. But somebody else is not going to put up with your shit. And it might make you a better person, but sometimes it might not. Sometimes you might date somebody and you live with them or even like you're with them for a long period of time. And then you realize like, oh, shit, this person is fucking toxic. But you had not realized that. 
because you only had to date them for like three or four months. But then when you put them in a situation where they need to be a little bit more responsible, dude, shit starts coming up, right? Like, oh, go get me this. Go do that for me. No, I don't want to get up right now. Do it for me. Can you do this for me? You don't want to do this for me? Well, I'm just going to sit here and pout for 45 minutes until you actually do it for me. Well, if you don't do it for me, oh, I don't know why you're leaving right now. Go make me food. And you're sitting there like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you're playing a video game right now? We haven't talked all day. And you're sitting there like, what are you fucking, we just cuddled for like two hours. What are you talking about? You know, I'm just like playing Star Wars Knights of the Republic, dude. What are you talking about? Like sometimes you really have to like live with somebody or have a prolonged period of time with somebody before you realize who they really are, dude. It's crazy. I know a lot of people will sit there and go, no, nah, David, that's just the way it is in relationships. Like that person's never going to be satisfied this and that. No, fuck you. That's terrible. You should be entitled to your own time. You should be entitled to do the way th th these things that you want to do within, within obviously like you're going to have to do stuff with that other person. I'm not saying you're not, but you should be able to do your own things. Like that's plain and simple. And you shouldn't be critiqued for that, especially if you were doing other things that are adequate for that individual. Like if that person is never going to be pleased, it's probably never going to work. Obviously, if he's making comments like that, he's a no. If he's looking at other people while he's with you, he's a no. So I don't know about that. I've been with a lot of girls before, and um, most women are okay when you talk about other women, and they'll talk about them too. Like I've every girl I've ever dated, serious dating, will go, "Whoa, that girl has a really fat ass," and I'll go, "Yeah, she does have a really fat ass," or whatever, and it's cool. It's fine. The same thing with men. Like you look at a guy, like, wow, that guy's a really fat ass. She'll say, yep, he has a really fat ass or he looks really good. Really like, it's just, I don't know. Personally speaking, I just kind of think that these, like this claim right here, that doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know about that. If, um, it just depends on the context. Like if a guy's like, whoa, bro, her ass is really fat. I wish to in insert my penile erection right inside of that. That would be great. Oh, so beautiful. I want to cheat on you right now. Like if he's doing that, obviously leave him. But if he's hitting you with a, whoa, that girl has a fat fucking ass. And you go, yeah, yeah, she does. Really fat ass. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it. Everybody, everybody can leave a like comment, subscribe, sharing the video. Thank you for anybody that does any of that stuff. I want to thank everybody that's a member or subscribed already. Thank you so much. You're an amazing people. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in flashlight. I have a flashlight right here that I use sometimes to look in corners to make sure that I'm cleaning properly and all this other stuff. Prime day is coming up soon. I'm going to buy a vacuum cleaner um, because I'm an adult. I'm going to clean houses and I'm going to do it well. And I'm going to, you know, it really dial in my inner Mexican lady. Cause I think that's, you know, when you think of a person that cleans houses a lot, do you think of a Mexican lady? What do you think of? Let me know down below, but I'm going to buy a vacuum cleaner. I'm going to buy a mop. I'm going to like, I've been using the same mop now for like a year. I know it's terrible, but I'm going to get a new one. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to wash the floor with pine saw, the purple kind. It's going to be amazing. Dude, it's going to smell so good. Oh, I just can't wait. I already washed my floor today, but I feel like it could be washed better and I want to clean properly. I want to do it harder. Um, but anyway, speaking of somebody that's clean, we're talking about you. We're talking about somebody that's really responsible. We're talking about somebody that takes care of themselves to the utmost degree, because you know, if you take care of yourself really well, you're going to ensure that other people around you are a reflection of you and you're going to take care of them really well. You're an amazing person. You smell so good. The lubrification of your ankles today. Whoa. Oh my God. They look really good. Really tasty. Really, really defined. Good bone structure. You're giving me great bone structure, but B besides all of that, I'm happy that you flossed your teeth today. I'm happy you brushed your teeth today. I'm happy that you used an umbrella when you were walking outside when it was raining outside. Don't be like one of those weird people where it's like 82 degrees outside and you're walking around with an umbrella. What are you doing? What do you think? You're Mary Poppins? That's weird. Stop doing that. But your music, you're, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're fantastic. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff will be linked down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.